Okay, so if you keep getting ghosted repeatedly, you need to look at the common denominator of the problem. And the common denominator of the problem is you. You're the one who keeps getting ghosted. You're the one who this is happening to. So what do you need to do to fix this problem? Well, you need to look at your behavior. So when somebody ghosts somebody, basically, I've, I've talked about this in plenty of other videos, it's basically it comes down to the, they stop responding as fast and like they take a few hours to respond. Now they're taking a few days and then they just stop responding altogether. So typically when you get the number, they're responding very quickly. Like it's going great and you think something's happening right here. And then something happens along the way that prevents them from showing that same amount of affection and they kind of drop off the map. They either lose attraction for you or they find a better guy or something like that happens. Basically, they're not as interested. So what is happening at that point that wasn't happening before. Well, chances are, if you're the typical guy, um, uh, a lot of guys out there, they start out really confident. Maybe they, when they were talking to them, they were around their friends or they were in a good environment where they looked confident, they looked sociable, they had a high social value. Um, all of these things were coming together and the girl was really attracted to them. And then when they stopped having that anymore, maybe they went on a couple of dates or they were texting or talking on the phone for a while, um, it probably takes a, a meetup in person for this to happen. Uh, they stop acting like that. They stop, stop acting like that confident guy and they turn into this guy who's needy. <laughs> now, typically this happens with a guy who is in scarcity. He doesn't have a whole lot of options, so he gets this girl that he thinks is hot or that, he's really, that he really likes and he starts panicking. He thinks that he has to get this girl and that comes across. No matter how hard you try to hide it, uh, especially if you're starting out, you won't be able to. Women pick up on that sort of stuff. I mean, if you're the type of guy who needs the girl to... If you need the girl's validation to like feel important, if you need her to like you, to like, like yourself, um, if you feel like you can't get a girl like her in the future, like you, this is the only, this is your only chance to get a girl like this, you're being needy. <laughs> These are all symptoms of a needy guy. Now, if you are a guy who actually has options, who has other people in his life that could provide that same thing, you're not being needy because you don't need one person for that sort of thing. You shouldn't need any one person for your happiness. You shouldn't need any one person for your validation. You should be able to get that from anyone and most of all, you should be able to get it from yourself. <laughs> so the way you do this is you go out, go get other girls, go improve your skills, make yourself a more attractive person. I've said this many times in my other videos about getting ghosted. This is the way you handle this type of situation and it's not going to happen overnight. It will take time. If this is a pattern that's been happening in your life for a long time, then it's going to take time to fix it. Now, don't get discouraged. I know this might anger a lot of you, but this is gonna be one of the most important things that you do. If you figure out why these girls are behaving the way they are and you solve the problem, it might take a while, but you owe it to your life and your development to do this because you're gonna be a better person, a better man, and overall, you're gonna be more successful at life by overcoming this adversity, okay? We all went through this. I went through this when I was coming up, when I had no options and girls were ghosting me. The fucking mosquitoes. <laughs> When I was coming up and I had like no options, no girls, and the girls that I did get would ghost me, it sucked, man. It was horrible, but I overcame it. And now I have, I live a life of abundance. I have all the options that I need and I'm a lot better person for it. You know, I'm doing better in business. I'm doing better in life. I'm doing better in all the things that I set out to do because I was able to overcome these things. So don't get discouraged, man. Although it won't happen overnight, when it does happen, it's gonna be well worth it. Um, and if you feel like you need extra help, you feel like, you know, you don't know what the problem is, one guy that can help you out with that is a coach. He's gonna cut down on the amount of time it's gonna be able to pinpoint the mistakes that you're making, the issues that you're having. Um, he's gonna be able to help you solve them a lot quicker. So if you're interested in that, shoot me an email or if you have any more questions about this, shoot me an email too. My email is going to be in the description. Thanks a lot, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. Good luck out there and I'll see y'all later.